Hi, ladies and gentlemen, it's Christelle Martinet with a reading for you for each individual sign for the month of August. To read this month, I'm going to be using my collection of fine arts paintings as uh, the basis. And if and when I need it, I'll use this tar um, Egorov tarot, Alexandra Egorov tarot that I've used before in my readings, and or the Vera Sibila deck that you are very accustomed to me using. And of course, my Neapolitan cards I have always ready with me. Now, just two words on my contest. As you know, I announced it the 23rd of July. It will fall due, the last day to receive the, the stories about a past life, the contest um, of the Renaissance. Google the Renaissance and see what that was all about before you write the story. And that will be ending the 23rd of August, midnight at uh, midnight Central European time. The contest is to win a past life regression session with me for the value of $300. And a few, few people have written to me and they said, well, are you a, a certified hypnotherapist? Of course, or else I wouldn't be doing that. Um, and I've done it for quite some time, <laughs> or else I wouldn't be, you know, I'm not. I'm a pretty serious person, <laughs> even if I laugh a lot. So let's get on to the readings and get those stories coming. Libra, Libra, it's your turn now. Let's take a look and see what's in store for all you Librans out there for the month of August. Let's take a look and see what's in store for Libra the month of August. Libra of August. Libra month of August. One of my favorite irises. Ah, beautiful. Oh, well, you'll be able to see this in a second. Ooh, you, you have your plate full the month of August, Libra. Let me show you this. These, these are irises by, uh, by Vincent van Gogh. The uh, iris is a, a Greek word for iris, means rainbow. And the flower, it's believed that the flower is a Greek goddess, iris. The name for the flower came from the Greek goddess Iris, who was a messenger on Mount Olympus. And she would take messages from the eye of the heaven to the earth by the arc of the rainbow. It's very, very highly symbolic. It carries a piece of heaven to us. Then we have next to this is the portrait of uh, Giovanni Arnolf, Ar, 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 Arnolfini and his wife. And the uh, date on this is in the 1400s. Um, it was by Van Eyck. Uh, and it's clear that there is the wedding and she's about to have give birth, but it's the measure of opulence. Uh, um, the idea of intensity in um, wealth and it's the illusionism that that follows uh, the ceremonies that seem unceremonious in truth. All right, now this is The Bed by Toulouse-Lautrec. Oops, this is By the Fence. Very interesting. It's not you can't tell if she's inside or outside of the fence, looking in or from the outside. And this is uh, The Princess Shares Her Dinner with the Frog by Walter Crane. Crane. Uh, 18, late 18, 1870, I think. This is Francis, sorry. This is uh, St. Francis in Meditation by Zulbatan. It's uh, 1600, 1630, I believe. Let me take the sound off of this. Then we have this beautiful Gustav Klimt, Klimt The Kiss, his golden period, um, 1910, 1909, I believe. And this is the Oracle of Delphi, the Priestess of Delphi, 1891, by John Collier. You've got a lot going on, uh, Libra, a lot going on, and... Um, you are, uh, I, I'm looking, you know, I'm saying, and I immediately wanted to say that it, if I uh, didn't know it, 
these would look like cards for Virgo. Instead, Virgo's cards look like someone else's. Here, you're acting with minute clarity and precision in the way you question yourself about your own beliefs and about the, the idea that perhaps my beliefs may be not serving me well, you know, you're thinking. And um, let me attempt to try and see. Let me attempt to try. It sounds like I'm you know, repeating myself. Let me attempt to see whether I can actually uh, create a different mindset in order for me to improve how I live my life. It's a big plate. You know, you've got a lot of things on this plate. And um, it's in another sign, for another sign, I was saying, this is a month where you fine-tune your sense of, of spirituality. And for someone else, it was fine-tuning their sense of sensuality. Sensuality. Here, I'm seeing that sensuality and spirituality are coming together and reaching heights that, have never uh, they have never reached uh, in your minds in your mind libra uh, you're finally seeing that well is it true what they say or is love overrated you know you're starting to think well yes the, love is is love and maybe that is the key that love holds the key to happiness could it be you know just like a child would start thinking uh, uh, or talking about someone who has never fallen in love before and it seems that you are thinking about love for the first time, Libra. It, it's sort of a magical month I'm, I'm getting. You're thinking about it. doesn't matter whether you are uh, have been in a relationship for God knows how many years or have just left somebody or about to start a new relationship. No, no, no. It seems that here you're thinking about what love is. And is love... What role does sex have? If I'm so drawn to someone, but then I have so much respect for someone else, how many forms of love are there? Is it still love if I want to hurt somebody? Is it for their own good if I punish a child? Does that still mean I... So there's very many different facets here, Libra. You're going through the entire rainbow, like the irises, of um, running the entire gamut of, of what love means. And the, have, with a heavy dose of sensuality, even the sensuality that you, um, that you feel when you embrace a child, that, that sensual uh, a pleasure that you can give a child, the, the child that's that you're milking at your breast, you know, that feeling of what skin is, what happens under this skin, out of the skin, does something finish? You know, so, so just like my words seem um, very strange to you, this is as strange as those ideas that will be coming. And a lot of you may be having these ideas in an altered state of mind, you know, drugs, sex, rock and roll. But for the most part, I'm, I'm seeing that these are uh, ideas and notions that you're entertaining on a very simple basis, you know, on a thought, thinking about them. Yes, what if, you know, could it be that? I'm going to take the Sibylla cards on the fence, the, the girl behind the fence, and, and there was an old lady in front of her. It almost looks as if she's seeing her in the, herself in the future. And it is a matter of you looking into the future, trying to see what the future holds for you. Um, I mean, this is Imeneo, the nuptial dance. We have the Gran Signore. It's been coming out a lot, this Gran Signore, the great man, the protector, could be a woman. Donna di Servizio, the housemate. Now, here I'm seeing that you're putting a high value, but again, on love and what love means. And you're looking at every person like in a rainbow, all of those shades and all of those colors. What kind of interaction do I have with children? What does that mean in a sensual way? What does love mean for 
a child that may I may scold? Is it the same thing? You know, and um, and on into the future because what this I I do and I found myself I find myself repeating the words a turning point. The month of August seems for many a turning point, and it's not because it, it may mark you know just the other half of the of the year or or the second month, but it definitely is a turning point for many of the signs, and and uh, for you as well. I'm going to take three Sibylla cards on this marriage, this Giovanni, Arnolfini, and why? And it's mirroring Gustav Klimt's The Kiss. There are two uh, opposite ends of the spectrum. And uh, here it is, the, the idea is this. We have superbia, vanity. Okay, it also is success, but it also means a downfall. There's um, uh, fortuna fortune and dispiacere sadness. And it seems that you are questioning the roles that we take in uh, relationships and the role that you take in, and have in a relationship is it a role of protector victim lover um, is it a prote is it a brotherly role okay these are all going to be former foremost in your mind I'm going to take the runes and see what they have to tell us let's see if I can get some more information and clarity all right, here we go. Okay, it's a matter of distinction I get. All right, now, first of all, uh, Dieg, a beautiful room of room of exchange and of of everlasting energy propelled forward that returns to you over our Oracle of Delphi. There's definitely amusing here. There's definitely uh, uh, in the month of August. A month where you your sense of spirituality and where it's going and where, where you're going uh, with it is called into question. Uh, over St. Francis I have um, Ingvats, Ingvats is the key and it is not only the key like all Othala suggests but Ingvats is a um, rune that tells us this is what Libra should be doing. Questioning what it means to be. Am I a role? Am I my job? Am I the father? Am I the son? Because this will make it, and if you, you know, pena, you know, if you don't, this is Lagos, Lagos, Merck's day. If you don't, you will be damned forever into an, em for an endless sleep phase and going through life without any kind of awareness. And it's not a matter of um, um, Anzus Merck's day. It's not a matter of uh, tearing down our built castles. No, it's a matter of seeing them differently and ultimately, Isa, distinguishing ourselves for the life we've entertained and created for ourselves and others. Very, very interesting reading, Libra. I do hope this was of help to you. Namaste until we read together again, and have a nice August. Whoops.